Morgan SK. What does that mean? It means good morning in German. Oh, okay. Hey, didn't you get that nickname Helga your freshman year? Yes, but that's a story for after the show. So you start us off. <sighs> State testing is starting this week. That means there will be limited Chromebook and charger checkout because supplies are prioritized for testers. Also, the library will remain open, but volume levels need to be low during lunches to respect test takers. Sophomores, check with your ELA teacher for your specific test dates. Bus pass notes must be turned into the main office before school starts on early release days. All requests to ride a different bus home must be from your parent slash guardian and in writing. As for Friday itself, remember, school starts at 7.25 like normal, but will end at 10.40. Passings are still 10 minutes with WTV at 8.55. The ASL Spring Festival is here. It is a remarkable event showcasing the talents and knowledge of our ASL levels 1, 2, and 3 students. This festival aims to celebrate their proficiency in ASL vocabulary, their understanding of sign language in different countries, famous deaf individuals, as well as deaf culture and life. Have you purchased your yearbook? Don't miss out. Yearbooks are $65. Order yours online or at the ASB office ASAP. Tolo is right around the corner. Tickets go on sale March 18th. Please work on returning books and clearing fines now so you can purchase your ticket and or your guest ticket without stress. Guest forms for Tolo are available now at the ASB window. In the schedule of events, spring sports get going this Friday with C-Team Soccer going to a jamboree at Spark Stadium. Track will be hosting their Twilight Time trial on Friday. They'll get going at 7. With the, sun funly, fi, with the sun finally coming and the changing of seasons, we can all sense the change in the air. For some, it means they are putting on a show during passing. Oh, I love you so much. Oh, I love you too. No pity in South. It's just gross. Look, just not here. No one wants to see it. Seniors, all of this is for you. Central Washington University is hosting a next step presentation for those of you who have been admitted on Friday. Sign up in the Career Center to attend. If you have not completed your application, you are also welcome to come by to finish or get your questions answered. Still looking for free money, seniors? Then check out the Ewing C. Kelly Scholarship. Applications are due for it this Friday. Also, the Washington Award for Vocational Excellence is due Sunday. Apply on the washboard.org to get your chance at $3,850 for two years. See the Career Center if you need help applying. Teaching and Learning is looking for high school volunteers for the Destination Imagination Regional Tournament taking place at South Kitsap High School this Saturday. Destination Imagination is a STEAM program for K-12 students to complete in different categories. They are looking for 20 student volunteers. Lunch and snacks will be provided for all. If you're interested, see Mrs. Vaca in the main office to sign up. In Club News, DECA will not be meeting tomorrow. They will meet next week. Also, congratulations to Allison Thompson that also qualified for DECA ICDC in personal financial literacy. DECA members attending ICDC, turn in your permission slips to Ms. Fighter by tomorrow. The clubs meeting today are ASB, Auto Tech, Cosmetology and Self Care, Drama, Esports, Journalism, Poetry, QSA, and World Builders. The clubs meeting tomorrow will be 3D Wit, Art, Paint into Purpose through the Arts, Bible, Ceramics, FCCLA, German, Japanese, K pop, Psychology, Shades of Color, Spanish, and finally Speech and Debate. Wow, that is 13 clubs meeting tomorrow. Phew, that was a lot for a Wednesday. Oh yeah, I agree. So, Helga, how did you get that name? Like I said, that's an embarrassing story for after the show. <sighs> okay, fine. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs>